And tonight's Made in Greater Binghamton focuses on a place where hot wax is transformed into cold cash. That would be the Windy Hill Candle Factory on Route 79 near Port Crane. News Channel 34 Steve Craig says what started out as a hobby took on a life of its own in the last dozen years. 50,000 jar candles available in 650 fragrances and who knows how many colors. That's the current stock in trade made and sold by the same people. So in between customers, the cashiers will turn around and they'll make jar candles by hand, which is the number one selling candle. And the customers get to watch, they'll smell the aromas and say, hey, what was that that you just made? And they'll say, oh, it was hot baked apple pie or whatever. Windy Hill's growth from a weekly garage sale to full-time business coincided with a shift in why people buy candles. Narrow tapers and cylindrical pillars, both unscented, are still made out back the old-fashioned way and sold mainly to restaurants and individuals who want romantic romantic lighting on special occasions. But for every one of these, Windy Hill customers buy four scented jar candles. They buy them because they want to fill their, their home with fragrances um, to follow the aromatherapy effect uh, of helping them relax. While demand has soared, the method of making jar candles has improved. Jar candles is not an old technology. It's only been around for about 25 years. And the technology of fragrances has drastically improved, as has the technology of refining the paraffin wax. Mm -hmm. Who'd have thunk it is how Larry Morano describes Windy Hill's growth from garage sale to local attraction. Steve Craig, News Channel 34. In the last year, Windy Hill has branched out to candy, not made on site, but now accounting for about half of its sales.